What's up, everybody? I hope y'all are doing good out there in YouTube land. Uh, this is a brand new channel. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Hit the bell if you want notifications. I got a lot of big plans for this channel. Um, all kind of redneckery that I'm going to teach you about. And this one, I had to hatch this chick out of his egg. He was stuck in the egg for a full 24 hours, so I broke him out. Um, after I broke him out, of course, he was wet, so I laid him in the incubator to where they would normally dry off and kept an eye on him. And he did not dry off. This stuff hardened around him almost like fiberglass, and he was hard as a rock. Um, generally speaking, you would dispatch a chick like this. Most people wouldn't even put the effort into him, but um, I, I'm kind of sick of putting chicks down because of this cheap-ass incubator I have. So... Um, I built my own incubator and now I'm kind of doing damage control from this one. So what I did was um, I got a bowl of warm water. It was borderline hot, but you got to make sure it doesn't burn him. That's why you saw me drip the water on there slowly, put my hands in it and all that good stuff. It needs to be really warm or else the bird will get cold and it'll die from that anyway. Um, I basically got him used to it, laid him down in there like this to soak his whole body, wrapped in the rag. Um, he still had his yoke stuck to his backside. You'll see all that stuff. And this took about 15 to 20 minutes. I mean, it, it's really slow. It's not exciting. A lot of times they don't make it. Um, don't get your hopes up. This is something you do um, just to give them that one last little fighting chance. Um, soaked him, soaked him, soaked him. And after a good 15 minutes, you'll see to where this stuff loosened up and it turned into like a goo. And this is also why it's really important that the humidity level doesn't drop in the incubator. Now, when I said I have a cheap ass incubator, I bought the most expensive incubator that Tractor Supply sells. My homemade incubator that I built using light bulbs and just a few burners way better than that one from tractor supply for 170 bucks way better um that thing will be getting returned or something because i'm tired of going through this with my chicks the that nurture right 360 is what i'm using that i'm going through this i'm getting a 20 30 percent hatch rate in that while i'm getting an 80 percent hatch rate in my homemade incubator and before you ask yes i'll do a video on how to make those incubators so now, now you see I'm able to pull this soft stuff off, but you got to be really, really, really careful because it'll per, it'll pull their fur off and uh, and their skin as well. It'll rip their skin right open if it's stuck to them too hard. So you got to let it get really, really wet. So this has been after a total of about uh, probably about 20 minutes here, and he's actually starting to move, uh, which really surprised me. I like I said, I thought this dude was a goner. I mean, we're talking about he fought for 48 hours. At this point right here, it's been about 48 hours. Um, he's exhausted. I have, um, outside the frame, you can't see it, I have a cup of Pedialyte, um, just like you would give your baby. And when I got done soaking him, I soaked a Q-tip in Pedialyte and got him to drink, uh, you know, as much as he would drink of it. We put him back in the little incubator, let him dry out. This morning, he is up. He's smaller than all the rest, very noticeably, even though they hatched the same time. But he is up, he is moving, he still has some crud on his head, but he is up, moving, eating, and drinking, and he made it. 